Welcome to this really quick video that I thought I'd do because I've been farming repossession for the new runic trinket and you know I was telling some guildies about it and you know there's still a lot of people out there that don't realize that in update 36 a lot of the old named items got an update so specifically uh, the named items from the Sharn syndicate chain and the nicked weapons that you get at the end of the chain are actually pretty cool again I know that those are some old favorites of the community from back in the day but take a look at them and stuff from the red fens got an update too so if you didn't realize that all that stuff was updated you're gonna have to get the new versions any versions that you have in your inventory are gonna remain or any yeah any of the old stuff that you have in your inventory you're gonna remain old it's not gonna be automatically updated you gotta farm for the new stuff but take a look at that on the wiki I'm gonna put a link in the video description to the update 36 loot so you can look at it there there is one item in particular though that I wanted to show you and it comes from repossession from the end reward there are actually two items that can come from this one the other one I believe is Quan's band which I'm actually using on ginger spice it's a plus three uh, wisdom ring with 60 wizardry level two so I'm wearing it on ginger spice for a couple levels but the runic trinket you know, it used to be just like a little you know, efficacy clicky, but now it's a level 2, totally unbound, not even bound after you wear it. Wizardry 60, Spell Focus Mastery plus 1, and Insightful Potency 14. So this is a very, very cool trinket for a low B caster. Now, Sharn Sin or, uh, Repossession here, it just it's just a one-minute farm. And it come, like I said, it comes on the uh, on the end reward list. And what's cool is you actually got four collectibles that you can farm while you're doing this. You know, if you have a knocker or a lock picker, you don't even know it, need to go in there and get that key. You know, you, and you don't even need to come get the collectibles. That would make it even faster. But heck, why not? You got a bookshelf there. Then you got two collectibles over here on the other side. Boom. And boom. And maybe this name guy will be up and you can get his trash loot chest to deconstruct to get some essences or something, you know? And then you're going to come in here and hit both rune wheels twice. The solutions were in those side rooms, but it's always the same. both rune wheels four times. I think I misspoke. Both rune wheels that need to be hit four times. And if you know you bring your over level tune in here, just grabbing all these items real quick isn't going to hurt you. If you come in here, you know, at level on Elite or Reaper, these traps are gonna blow the the hell out of you. These are some scary traps when you're doing this at level. Finally got the right one. Okay, door is open. Now I farm this about, uh, I'd say not more than say 15 times. And I pulled two of the rings and two of the trinkets off the end reward list. So, what is that about? Every four runs I was getting one of the two named items that come from this one. It's a pretty easy farm. Now you do have to do Storm Reaver Fresco before you do this one, otherwise Kier here, the quest giver, won't even talk to you. But that you know that's a super quick one. Nope, didn't get it this time. But uh, you know, go farm yourself a runic trinket or a Quan's band from repossession. And take a look at all of the Sharn Syndicate loot and all of the Red Fens loot. There might be something there you want. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube.